Math Dad here with Science Mom ready for challenge number 44. All right, in today's challenge, I have nine mystery boxes and nine numbers to go in those boxes. You need to drag the numbers into those boxes so that we get these equations satisfied. So for example, along the top row, we've got a time symbol and a plus symbol, so using order of operations. Mm -hmm. We're, we need to drag numbers into the boxes so that we get true statements. The black numbers are the targets, and the orange numbers are the current values. So currently there are no numbers in there, so... Okay, and this says undefined because it could be zero, is that what's going on? Yeah, you're dividing by some number that's not there, so... Okay. Yep. You understand? I do. I'm slightly nervous to be doing this live because, to be honest, I haven't practiced my multiplication and division facts lately and I'm afraid I'm going to be slow. All right, but... that's, uh, the orange numbers are there to bail you out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, so I'm giving you three minutes <laughs> to solve this problem. If you're watching at home, now's the time to pause the video and give it a try yourself. Science Mom, you have three minutes that begin now. All right. Something times something plus something equals 13. I'm going to want smaller numbers up there, I'm betting. Um, Good. And if I'm going to divide by something to get 27, it's going to need to be pretty large. Like if I divided by 3, this would need to equal 81. Uh, but I... And I can't divide by 2 to get to 27, so it has you, to be... You can. I can divide? 54. Oh, 54, yep. Okay, that sounds more doable than, uh, than 81. Times y equals 54, though. I know, 9 times 6 equals 54. 9 times 6 equals 54 divided by 2 is 27. Um, and I don't have a zero here. Correct. So whatever I add here, I'm going to need to have one bigger when I'm minus. So I could do... Oh, whoops, did I do that oh, backwards? The other way around, too. Yep, did that backwards. Um, and now I just have four left. Um, so I'll give four. you a little hint. If you look at the main diagonal, uh -huh. You're adding up the three entries there, and it has to add up to be... To 24. I'm only at 10 right now, so I'm in trouble, because I don't have anything bigger. So that would mean I would have to switch these, um, which means I'm in trouble there. Thirteen four plus 9 plus... Okay. Eight. No, I just gotta... Good. So I have to have those numbers there, otherwise it's not gonna work. Yep. And now I've just gotta see if I can piece together the other ones. Um... Eight times... Let's do eight times one. Whoops. Nice. 1 plus 9 is 10. Minus 3 is 7. Whoa! Oh, 14 so, seconds left. I kind of feel like I got lucky on that one. <laughs> I felt so as well. But, um, but, <laughs> Wait, where's your confidence in me? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, there were definitely a few decisions that had to be made, but you know, once you figured out that the 8, 9, and 7 needed to go down that main diagonal, and you correctly figured that the center one had to be a 9, mm -hmm. you, you were well on your way. Then, the number of possibilities that would work out. Go, drop set now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, nicely done, science mom. Coming through at the last minute. Thank you.